Okay, but now I'm going to make it hard for you. Go. And I, I just, I just want to read you something. This is according, according to the Royal Society for Public Health in the UK. You probably know, I know where, where I'm going with this. Yeah. They say that Instagram was found to have the most negative overall effect on young people's mental health. The popular photo sharing app negatively impacts body image and sleep. It increases bullying and FOMO, that's fear of missing out, and leads to greater feelings of anxiety, depression, and loneliness. The positive effects of Instagram include self-expression, self-identity, community building, and emotional support. So that's, there's a good side to it, but how, from a tools perspective or from a technology perspective, how do you change the dynamic? And how do you change the business? I don't know if it's a change of the business model. I don't know what you, or maybe you think this is just society. But first I'll say, while I take the criticism and I hear it, I think that particular article, I think, stretches the truth a little bit. Now, that being said, I think anyone agrees, if you talk to any 13, 14, 15 year old, there's bullying online. There are body image issues. The list goes on. So none of that is right. untrue. I just think that the truth of the matter is that yes, social media reflects society, usually not the other way around. And, but a world without Instagram, I, I think is a sadder world because of all the positive effects it brings families, all the, all the other list of, of right. qualities that you just listed off. And there's not a single technology in the world that doesn't have both sides to it. They, like, there's no technology that's pure good. And what you have to do as a leader, if you control one of these things, is figure out how to emphasize the good and solve the bad. That's what we tried to do. Okay, but on that.